Apparently, fourth, he had told me that in this death battle, they kind of shut, they kind of spoil a new form that Vegeta has. I do want to skip it, but it's probably gonna be in the fight regardless. So I, I, don't, really, I don't really think there's any point of skipping it regardless. So if y'all don't want to get spoiled, I by all means just you know I guess don't watch it. But I mean I'm gonna watch it regardless. I mean it, it's Dragon Ball Z. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be that bad for just a spoiler. Probably no. I don't even know when the fuck I'm gonna see this new form anyway. So I'm gonna watch it. And, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. Wiz! Hey! Uh, don't be mad, but I pushed some buttons watch. in your lab, and now I'm in cyberspace. Looking for that Let's elusive dislike bar that's been missing for months, but look what I found instead! Spear! Okay, not real beer, it's a bunch of emojis! Listen up, this is crazy! Did you know that Death Metal Channel break. offers memberships for less than oh, 30 bucks? Some beat I know, it's a steal! Members get exclusive badges, live streams, behind the scenes videos, members only live chat, and over 20 unique emojis! All you gotta do is click the join button and you're in the club! About to go walk your sloth! What kind of. That's y'all calling it now? Walking your sloth? And Vegeta, the prince of I'm all figures. I'm the sky shakes when they appear, and the earth trembles when they approach. No world can contain the power of these two gods of war. Or their egos. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death, death battle. battle. Okay, so initially speaking for anything, my assumption is that I think that Thor is going to win just because that y'all know how comic books and Marvel is, you know, they always make the most OP superheroes, so OP and sh so I, I think Thor might actually have this, but I'm going for Vegeta. I'm going for Vegeta in this. Thunder cracks. Just saying. The heavens rumble. Lightning Wait. blinds your eyes. You look up to the sky and pray for mercy because Thor is angry. Well, you would have if you were a Viking. Nowadays, we don't have time for myths and legends. Oh, don't we? For in the modern mythology of Marvel comics, the Norse god of thunder oh, was reborn. Oh, and I'd wager this yeah. Thor is a hell of an upgrade. The we son see of the these. All Father Odin. Thor Odinson. That's his last name? I didn't even know Thor had a last name. Thor Odinson. So his father's name is Odin Odinson. He's 6'6? Six, six? He weighs 640 pounds? Okay, hold on. Okay, no, we gotta talk about that. Okay, realistically, weighing 6'6 and 640 pounds, bro? How are you not fat? Like, uh, there's no, like, what? Even like, he's like, you know, a giant for, I mean, he's tall. Like, Janet, bro, Janet is legit, is legit like the same as that height, kind of. Like, Janet's like 6'6, six, 6'7. Six, six, and also, knowing Vegeta and his curse, knowing that every fight he's in, he usually loses. I, I don't see him beating Thor, bro. The Vegeta curse is pretty bad, man. <laughs> Y'all want that Vegeta curse. Prince of Asgard, God of Thunder, founding member of the Avengers, current owner of the Odin Force, greatest foe, Noob Master 69. What? That's an actual person? Wait, is this a troll? Wait, did Thor actually fight someone named this? Or am I getting trolled? Thor lived the life of a warrior prince, battling all manner of magical foe for thousands of years. That is until he oh, a little too for, big for his bridge. Oh, Fortnite. Uh, I see what they did. Oh, yeah. I, I remember now. I remember that. <laughs> Yo, Endgame was so silly, bro. So to teach him a lesson about Endgame humility so and compassion and whatever, Odin exiled him to the worst place in the universe, New York. Ooh, you hate to see it. Oh, sh To the worst place in the universe, New York. <laughs> Yo, Indigo. Indigo. That's crazy. Ooh, you hate to see it. Thor's has Gator Boy, amen. At least we get the worst place in the universe. <laughs> Cash when you're a dick suck. 
I'm not sick. Worst place in the world, New York. Of oh, the powers, Asgardian mutant hybrid, energy manipulation, weather control, superhuman longevity, and vulnerability, superhuman senses, rapid healing factor, super breath, flight, telepathy, and immunity, warriors, madness. Immune to disease and capable of healing far faster than any mortal man. He's also the literal god of strength. We're talking lifting a planet sized serpent strong, knocking out the Phoenix Force strong. Arm wrestling with Hercules and almost throwing the Earth out of orbit strong! Notably, he was once blasted with a graviton bomb, which subjected him to the gravity of a neutron star. That's over 200 billion times greater than Earth's gravity. Good he, God. He's got the stamina to match. Nice. Able to fight for 40 days and 40 nights without Thor has stopping. This. And what better weapon for the God of Storm to wield though. than a sentient cosmic storm? Eons ago, the almighty God Tempest rampaged through the universe. It arrived in Asgard, and after Sorry, a pitch life battle, no Odin sense. managed to Facts. trap it within a block of the magical fan service that he would forge into his son's hammer, Mjolnir. Oh, what more can be said about this beautiful thing? Forged in the heart of a dying star that went supernova and killed the dinosaurs, yeah, Mjolnir is maybe my favorite thing ever. He can down, channel but... bolts of lightning, manipulate what? the weather, open portals to other dimensions, and absorb and redirect energy uh, attacks. I, I never heard that saying, Ty. Never heard that saying. Mjolnir. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. It contains God Tempest. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Those are, oh, those are his fucking, um, his hammers. Worthiness of, um, enchantment returns to Thor's hand with their own energy absorption god blast john region cuts through celestial armor that's the axe i believe and then amazing george doubles thor strength jesus so so wait, what y'all what y'all say is like the strongest the strongest web um the strongest hammer that thor has or just suck it out of your body against your will like with this radiation dude the presence not gonna be present for much longer bud he's even used two mjolnirs to absorb the power of the no, god no, hammers which would have killed every deity oh yeah in i mean in any game in space that's just or the tip of the game. iceberg Mjolnir i think in the three where he got a new hammer didn't he thor invisible and in it was axe let him travel through time and even bring people back to life and if Thor wants to fly, all he has to do is take it for a spin. Literally, he throws that mother as hard as he can and holds on for dear life. And when he does, it flies fast enough to cross the entire galaxy in seconds. Only one problem. It's a little teeny. Unlike Thor's big sex, Yarnbjorn. It's sharp enough to cut through celestial armor, and it's unbreakable, and, uh, and... An axe! Okay, look, it doesn't have a galaxy storm inside it, but it's still pretty cool. Oh, sh look, Wiz. I'm worthy. No, you're not. There's no enchantment on the axe. Well, then what the hell am I gonna do with this? But should he face an enemy beyond the likes of even his world-shattering strength, Thor can harness Ooh. his inherent godly power into one single ultimate attack. Uh, Thor is actually ultimate to get chat. God is right! Even Galactus, the devourer uh, of worlds! Pants and bounced at the we sight of such an awesome attack. They are doing Jesus, fine. Even the Avengers seem pretty small they potatoes compared fine. to this guy. Why do you even bother with them? Because not every problem can be solved by hitting it really hard. Well, that was the point of Odin's lesson to force his headstrong son to confront a world more complex and nuanced than his millennia of battle had prepared him for. Thor had to be more than a warrior, he had to be a hero. He's battled Thanos, the Silver Surfer, and even the Sentry. The Sentry is strong enough to contend with the World Breaker Hulk, a being strong enough to destroy the Marvel Universe over a hundred times over. And fast enough to demolish Ares, the Greek god of war, who can fight within the space Jesus. of time. That's like the tiniest amount of time that we can imagine. There are as many planks in a second as there are grains of sand on Earth. Oh wait, did I say Earth? I meant 10 million billion billion Earths! Thor has tanked disintegration beams trying to tear apart Shook the universe with a thermal blast. To see it, Odin as king of Asgard shattered the roots of Yggdrasil, snapped adamantium alloy cables, outsped a living planet across the solar system, kept fighting while impaled, defeated Hulk, Sentry, Surtur, and those who sit above in the shadow. Part of Adams one by one, survived Mephisto trying to consume his soul, and even withstood a temporal rift that aged normal people to dust. Oh, he's a hard bastard to kill, and even nastier when he loses his temper. By entering a state known as Warrior's Madness, Thor commits an unpardonable sin in Asgardian society, 
and willingly sacrifices his sanity for a tenfold increase in power. Yeah, despite being a really sweet lunk that talks like he's in Masterpiece Theater and dresses like he's in What's Opera Duck, Thor has struggled with being worthy of his father's legacy and throne. But no matter what unbelievable sh** Marvel throws at him, Thor always rises to the occasion. Take the time this big machine called the World Engine was controlling Yggdrasil, the world tree that connects ten universe-sized realms. The World Engine's purpose was to mechanically trick Yggdrasil into disrupting the natural flow oh, of Ragnarok, the match. end of the world. Thank you, so Ty. Thor just pushed it and literally reversed the flow of fate. That's right. He Nigga, what? a giant multiversal tree and prevented Armageddon. Not a bad Saturday. And he'd go a step further and defeat the mysterious elder gods that manipulated the cycle of Ragnarok in the first place, ending it forever. So perhaps now, when you look up at the thundering sky, you won't fear the gods' capricious wrath. Because you'll know it's just Thor, the god of thunder, kicking ass and saving the day. Planet Vegeta, okay. home to the bloodthirsty warrior race known as the Saiyans, and named for their mighty Time for Vegeta. Vegeta. Noting the Saiyans' proficiency in genocide, the alien emperor King Cold and his son Frieza contracted them to be their personal hit squad, conquering worlds in their name. But when Frieza felt these monkeys were getting a bit too uppity for these their own, what? he nuked them in their whole planet. The king was dead, leaving his young son, the Prince Vegeta, alone. Burning with a grudge against Frieza for age 68, so close. <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean so close? Oh, I, I know. Okay, yeah, 16. Okay, never mind. I, I, that that kind of blew over my head. Okay, niggas five five, bro. He is a whole foot and one inch shorter than Thor. That is crazy. A whole foot and one inch shorter than Thor, and he weighs one hundred and twenty three pounds. So he's like a sixth. He's like a sixth in weight compared to like Thor. Good lord, bro. Vegeta's. <laughs> he's like a child. Niggas, <laughs> niggas so short. Hey, Russ, crazy. Vegeta, bro. Vegeta has no love for real, bro. Prince of all sins, trained by the God of Destruction Beers, likes Bulma, his children, karaoke, pink shirts. Dislikes Frieza, losing the Kakarot, and Tien. Wait, what the f? Wait, why does he hate Tien? Wait, am I missing something here? Wait, why is he not like Tien? I mean, look, look, I can understand that he may, maybe he hated like, y like Yamcha, but I can't understand why he hates Tien though. Hey, those of y'all on YouTube, you know why? Tell me in the comments or something, because I'm not sure why, why that is. Wounding his ancestral pride, Vegeta awaited the moment he could extract his revenge. As one of Frieza's former top enforcers, Veggie was trained from birth to be one of the greatest warriors in the universe. It helps that Planet Vegeta had a gravity 10 times greater than that of Earth's, making his natural physiology significantly stronger and more durable than a human's. As in, making the whole friggin' Earth shake just by throwing hands. And like all Saiyans, Vegeta can harness his ki, or inner life force, as a physical energy to make him even stronger, faster, and tougher than that. Or literally shoot it at your opponent to blow him to kingdom come. That's Jesus. right, Vegeta can point and click a planet out of existence with his soul. Man, that's hardcore. He can use ki to fly at faster than light speeds, slice you to pieces with an energy blade, and even hold you in place with energy rings. So, let's be be real. Vegeta's favorite attacks can be summed up with big ass laser. He's got the purple big ass laser, two handed big ass laser, rapid fire big ass laser, exploding ball big ass laser, and f***ing omnidirectional your ass is grass big ass laser. A daily reminder that Vegeta literally blew himself up to try and kill Majin Buu and failed. Daily reminder, that's how that's how bad his curse is, bro. That's how bad his curse is. Ow, this nigga, nah, bro. This nigga is not being Thor. I'm sorry. He is not being Thor, bro. No, I gotta say, no matter what y'all want to say, he's not with the open vomit, big ass laser. No, that's more of a Nappa thing. Kind of like this. Ah! 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 Impressive key mastery, Boomstick. <laughs> it hurts when I breathe. Vegeta's right. most terrifying ability, how? Let's see. God key, flight, Gallic gun, final flash, gamma burst flash, big bang attack, final explosion, spirit sword, Okura gun, final impact, Hakai, spirit control, instant transform, instant transmission, spirit fission, fusion, transformation, Super Saiyan one, ascended to Super Saiyan blue or Super Saiyan God blue. Evolved Ultra Ego. So I'm guessing that's the one that's a spoiler. Yeah, we'll see what that is later is on. the one inherent to his Saiyan biology. Whenever a Saiyan survives a life or death struggle, their power increases exponentially. 
That's what Frieza this Kai Sina hat, I'm something to get sturdy. Saiyan's infinite evolutionary potential. So it's no it's wonder bad. Vegeta really? eventually toppled the alien tyrant with the help of another surviving Saiyan, Kakarot. And with Frieza's defeat at the hands of this Earthbound Super Saiyan, Vegeta had a new rival and a new goal. Become blonde! No battle required. Vegeta can harness the rage of his Saiyan heritage and transform into a Super Saiyan 2. And a Super Saiyan 2! But try as he might, Vegeta struggled to keep up with Goku's ever-increasing power. I guess it doesn't help that Veggie is maybe the single cockiest bastard to ever have existed. Yeah, sure, dude. Like a lot of you, bro. When was the last time that Goku and Vegeta actually had like a fight? Was, was it was it when uh when Vegeta was on Majin timing? Was that the last time we seen like Goku and Vegeta actually fight, bro? We need it. We need another Goku and Vegeta fight, bro. I'm sorry. Like it's like it's necessary. I'm sorry. Like we need another Goku and Vegeta fight for real. I'm trying to see like a full all out, you know, full on fight. All the like, both of them going all out, trying to like you know see who's going to win and shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure Goku, I mean, Vegeta, Goku's going to win those, of course, but it's still a good ass fight. You know what I mean? I'm so down to see that. Dude, Let's sail become perfect. Nah, we'll be fine. Hope you're Oh yeah, and Goku vs. Beerus. Beerus. Dumbass. Vegeta that, did manage to accomplish something that even Goku couldn't do on his own. Becoming a god. Once he and Goku met the god of destruction Beerus, they had a whole new lineup of martial artists to conquer, with some angelic training to boot. With spirit fission, Vegeta can forcibly absorb an opponent's key with every strike. And he even learned Goku's- She technically learned instant transmission. He has not mastered it and does not rely on it in battles and protocol. Patented instant transmission, allowing <coughs> him to teleport huge distances. But most importantly, with god key, he can go even further beyond and become- uh, percent god for Sand can partially tap into his power without fully transferring transforming a lot of them to boost their base form a heads. super saiyan god a super saiyan god super saiyan and a super saiyan god super saiyan evolved his power got completely insane the dude was strong enough to destroy the room of spirit and time an crush goku in their first fight outmaneuvered vegeta oh yeah sorry outmaneuvered frieza his forces on namek destroyed planet arlia effortlessly held his own against kid Buu for several minutes <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'll give him props for that. You know, he got f***ing destroyed. Trained under hundreds of times. Earth's gravity. Kills to Goku and Beerus's reverse busting power. Feeds to my perfect cell. Frost, Golden Freeze, and Taco. Entirely separate dimension just by powering up. When Goku fought Beerus, he Vegeta nearly destroyed the up. universe. And that was the, the very first time he ever went Super Saiyan God. Considering yeah, we've measured Dragon Saiyan Ball's universe. universe 7 to be up to For 13 real. times but, you know, bigger than our own, curse, he'd need so to be punching with happen. that much more energy to bust it. And since the shock waves of their punches traveled across the universe in seconds, Goku would have had to be punching that fast too. And that's not accounting for Vegeta's training in various exponential transformations. When an amount of power is measured by how many universes it can destroy, that power itself becomes incomprehensible. No, oh, we're not done. Vegeta can tap into the same monstrous energy Beerus has, destruction energy. And when he does, he can perform Hakai and erase your from existence entirely. It erases you physically, spiritually, and even temporally, as in it wipes you from time itself. Such is he the mind of a god of destruction. For when Vegeta wants to go one step beyond, beyond, he seizes that very power. He becomes a warrior fueled only by lust for battle. He becomes Ultra Ego. If Vegeta's head wasn't big enough before, his Widow's Peak probably has its own zip code by now. As the offensive counterpart to Goku's Ultra Instinct, Ultra Ego Vegeta is a veritable juggernaut, able to absorb any hits that come his way and return them even stronger. What? It's why this guy has a Napoleon complex. He's one of the biggest bad ever to exist. In a way, failing to beat Goku was probably the best thing for him. Vegeta's whole life was spent rebelling against the humiliation of his race, trying to prove his worth by being the best. By contrast, Goku's self-improvement was never stunted by his ego and insecurities. In realizing that, Vegeta became more than a fighter, but a husband and a father as well, willing to sacrifice himself for what mattered most. And Vegeta got a taste of that himself when he hooked up with Bulma for some Super Saiyan sexy time. Getting to beat Frieza's yep. golden probably didn't hurt either he may not upgrades. always win but he'll never be put down do. for long so be sure to practice your anyway? grumbling because this is one prince you don't want to piss off jb the bad guy this show is sponsored by better help oh, life yeah, can yeah, be yeah. overwhelming and many people are I, burned I out like without even knowing all right it. skip the ads let's see it bro. Uh, 
Let's see it. Oh there, mighty warrior. What business havest thou upon Earth? Throw that hammer at me again, and my business will be polishing my gloves upon your face! <laughs> Did that count? Let's go split if I do it, bro. Jesus. Thou fightst well for a mortal. Alas, you face a god. Yo. Yo. Jesus. I have evolved beyond gods. And you can burn in hell! Big bang attack! Damn, niggas, don't go <laughs> oh, this Aldrigo? Does a god such as yourself feel fear? Or a Super Saiyan God? Good lord. Good God, this is so crazy. Good <laughs> figure, see? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nigga, what? Wait, what? Got his brains turned to jambalaya, bro. That's crazy. Thor turned his to jambalaya, bro. That shit was crazy. What I tell y'all, the Vegeta curse, it never ceases to, bro. It never ceases to exist, bro. The Vegeta, the, the Vegeta curse, it will always happen, bro. It's always there, bro. Every single time. G can handle a punch from Zaba straight, but. To the dome, but I have her crush this. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Because he's a natural. I, I don't god. know, though. Despite Vegeta's immense power know. and tenacity, the god of thunder had him outmatched in several key areas. First off, the big one, who was stronger. Despite being up against the god of strength. If Thor was given a Thor Force, he'd scale to multiverse level or multiversal level feats from the likes of Odin, furthering the gap in power. Vegeta actually. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't mention all that shit.
could output power far in excess of destroying a single universe. It's always tough to get an exact number for Dragon Ball Super's most powerful characters, but we can combine the size of Universe 7 with multipliers from Vegeta's transformations to get a rough estimate. It's important to note that Ultra Ego's power boost has never been stated, but we do know that Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta were roughly even in power. When Goku applied a Kaioken times 20 boost to fight Jiren, Vegeta kept up after going Blue of Evolve, implying that both increases in power are roughly the same increase. Similarly, Blue Vegeta matched base top, and needed Blue Evolve to keep up with Top's God of Destruction form, which is extremely similar to Ultra Ego in theme and purpose. Given the so I confirmed the interview that Torotaro, that Master Ultra Instinct Goku is still weakened in several beings in his universe, including Broly. Hence, Vegeta's Ultra Ego cannot, likely cannot scale to Broly's full power. That's insane. This is the best current example of a measurable form akin to Ultra Ego. We can assume that Ultra Ego's boost in power, at least initially, could be extremely similar in terms of a percentage increase, making Ultra Ego's original state about 20 times more. Savage Hulk has battled Hyperion, who survived the collision of two universes at the same time. It's all it's it's all also excludes Warrior's Madness, which would multiply Thor's power into ten times. Good God. Powerful than Blue Evolve. With that in mind, Vegeta at his peak could destroy a universe roughly two hundred and sixty thousand times over. And Thor was pretty close to that. Taking a look at the Marvel Universe's size, which the is the about Super Broly a trillion um, light years, as well as scaling to the World Breaker Hulk. Which I probably understand, because Super Broly is, is a lot stronger than um, Dragon Ball Z Broly. But, I still, I'm, still, I'm still a bigger fan of, of Dragon Ball Z Broly. This day by Starbrand, who possesses this incredible and precise understanding of the cosmos and the submissions of Z. Marvel Universe size, 9,945 universes, Hyperion Savage, Hyperion Savage Hulk to World Breaker Hulk times 120. Good God! In terms of 265,800 universes, Thor ended up only about ten times stronger. Not terribly different, and what it's the definitely. Vegeta's power could increase during the fight to match it. But even if he was stronger, it wasn't the only thing that mattered. Ultra Ego's damage absorption could only do so much against an opponent like- Oh, my camera. Oh, nice. Thor. Vegeta may have trained as a warrior from birth, but Thor has been fighting for millennia against a much wider variety of foes, allowing him to adapt to Vegeta fairly easily. And the fact that Thor was way faster gave him a lot of leeway to use that extra combat experience. Applying Vegeta's transformation multipliers to the shockwaves from Goku and Beerus' punches, Vegeta should be able to fight at nearly 300 quintillion times. Wow, Broly the best. Scaling to Ares, moving terms of within what? blank time? Thor would be over 70 quadrillion times faster. More than fast enough to avoid Vegeta's key attacks, and even more importantly, absorb all of them with Mjolnir. This alone could shut down all of Vegeta's ranged attacks. Sure, Veggie could absorb it back with Spirit Vision, but he'd have to hit Thor first. And with that much of a speed difference, that's easier said than done. And since Thor can just will the energy out of somebody, he could just take it right back. And then some. Even without absorption, Vegeta's key reserves are not infinite, and many of his that battles helps. have ended up, with him at low energy. He was exhausted Movie by the end of the better. Tournament of Power, which lasted about one hour in total. Meanwhile, Thor fought an army for over a month straight. Theoretically, Vegeta could have ended the fight immediately with Hakai, if not for the fact that Thor has resisted existence erasure before, including physically, spiritually, and temporally. Meanwhile, existence ended the fight immediately but an army for over a month straight theoretically vegeta could have ended the fight immediately with hakai if not for the fact that thor has resisted existence erasure before including physically spiritually and temporally meanwhile vegeta had really? no way to match the no god blast that. which could have killed friggin <laughs> had, had no idea that about that threatened the infinite multiverse with destruction just as a side effect of his battle that's a level of power beyond anything we've seen in Dragon Ball yet, let alone Vegeta. Vegeta was never going to go down easy, but Thor's raw power, speed, and devastating godly abilities were too much for the Prince of All Saiyans. Vegeta Mjol nearly won until Thor blew his mind. You might say that pun was ha kind of terrible. Huh? You don't do uh, puns! We've talked about it. this! <laughs> My thing. Well, the winner is Thor. If you're Thank you for high. watching. Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the next matchup next Did week. You? But you can always get more Death Battle uh, right now know. by clicking one of those boxes right over there and by downloading the battle music linked down below. Who's next? Let's see it. Oh my god! Oh, oh I'm, about, I'm about to.
myself. Oh, I'm about to shit myself. I'm about to shit myself. Oh my god, I'm about to shit myself. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. This is the fight we all. This is the fight we need to see. Wait, Homelander. Oh, I thought I was. I thought. Well, I thought I was Superman. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's kind of underwhelming, I, I guess. But even though was, I guess Superman will still win that, but I mean, it's kind of underwhelming. But all right, cool. I mean, still, still a cool fight regardless. <laughs> I was like, "Ain't no way." On the Maverick Superman, I'm like, "Uh, nah, it's it's Homelander." Yeah, never mind.